Well, yesterday we played the very first Spark game, and now it's about time for the sequel. Yeah, this game, that game had a sequel. A very good sequel, if you ask me. Way better than the original, even. And I already like the original quite a bit. You'll just have to see in this game. This is, this is a pretty good one. It's a pretty good uh, Sonic type homage type game. So let's just uh, let's just go. Yeah, Spark the Electric Jester too. Except it's not starring Spark. It's starring the other guy named Fark, the big robot guy. Yeah, that guy. Even though he's not that big, he's about the same size as Spark. But y you know what I mean. Let's just go. Spark the Electric Jester. Ooh. I gotta play playing on normal. Just cause. Around the time I was born, one machine pr produced a virus that gave him control of all other machines. This man called himself Freom. I was given a mission, pretend to be one of Freom's machines and backstab him. And it was my creator who gave me that mission. Wherever he is, is still a mystery to me. The mission was a complete failure. Someone else, the person who gave me this name of Fark, alone for me with nothing to lose, who managed to destroy most of Freedom's forces. It's a shame. I was made to look like him in every way. And yet, I failed. Who really am I? Memory system interpreter log. Version 2.1F. Memory check complete. No signs of damage found. Memory system warning. Medium levels of cis anxiety on sectors FL and PL. Reboot complete. <sighs> Oh, that was rather quick, if I do say so myself. Maintenance is done. But to be quite honest, I still can't figure out that body of yours. It's quite different, so I don't think I can do all that much. Surprisingly, it doesn't seem damaged at all. It's definitely special, that's for sure. Well, there isn't much need for a combat body anymore. Freedom has finally been defeated. All right, um... Mark, that's the name you are going by, right? I'm not very good at names. Oh, that's... not really my name. I don't know what my name is. Right, um, Spark, wasn't it? The one who gave you his name to you. He was quite the fellow. I hope he's drawing that blank check. You know anything about my name? Hmm. Uh, I don't think so. But maybe... I could dig through your code? Yes, that would be great. Hey, calm down. Isn't Fark already a good name? I... don't know. Jester. Well, Spark. After he managed to defeat Freedom, he came down to the ground and told me what it meant. It's the word Faker mixed with his name since we're so similar. Oh, oh, so that's why. Well, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Now, if you're ready, we can start looking right away. I must say, I'm quite curious. Right, let's do this. Right. First, I'll need you to lie down in that bed. Oh, hello there. And he just swipes the doctor right from underneath our noses. The big old metallic noses. Dark school! It's that game- Look! I told you, I told you this game would be quite the improvement over the second one, or the first one. It's freaking Sonic Adventure 3! It really is. I need to remember the controls off the top of my head. Okay, there we go. 
Even though it's telling me right now the, uh, the controls aren't necessarily accurate because it's not really uh, telling me the exact buttons I need to be pressing. Yeah. And we got specials too. Just like we did in the original game. Big old beam laser. But we also have a parry mechanic. Which Fark had in the original game, but it's uh, very, uh... Let's just say it's very abusable in this game. You'll probably see what I mean soon. And we're starting off with FM City right away. Now check this game out. How big, wide, and open it is. This... I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is probably one of the best like Sonic-like game games to come out in a long time. And... We still got Kirby powers. So it's a big old 3D Sonic type game with combat and Kirby powers. Why, why are not more people talking about this game? Why isn't this game like the best game ever made? It is. It's just that people don't realize it. So yeah, the tutorial was saying that the enemies that have the word weak over their head can be killed with our homing attack. Yeah, it's a pretty good rate, good way of just keeping up momentum and stuff. I'm going through this kind of slow. I'm not a... I'm very much not a speedrunner. I'm just, just trying to enjoy myself with this game. It's quite easy to do, I have to say. It's probably one of the better power-ups. I don't know the name of it. I can't really tell you off the top of my head, but... It kind of reminds me of Pyra from Xenoblade 2. So I'm going to stick with that. It's good for combat. As well as... We're dashing in the air. That's good for combat, and for platforming. Makes it probably one of the better power-ups in the game. We still dash up walls and all that. We could sprint all the way over to the universe. All the way over to the universe, not across the universe, to the universe. That's right. We got some baddies fight along the way. So yeah, the parry is uh, is a very abusable. You could you were able you were probably able to see there that I was able to just block those attacks while I'm attacking. If I had better timing, it'd be even better. But yeah, that's kind of uh, the problem with the parry in this game. You could it's very abusable. I think it's like not big of a deal or anything, but uh, that is actually one of the things that the Spark Three uh, demo addresses. Because it's actually kind of a big deal in this game. Yeah, hey, we got a world map. We could go back and visit any uh, level we want to. I'm just going to go forward, though. To the FM downtown. And once again, this game has a pretty good soundtrack. Much like Spark 1. I think I like Spark 1's soundtrack better, though. Mostly because Sunset Hide isn't uh, one of the tracks that returns but that being said this game does have some pretty good tracks that we'll be seeing later namely the boss themes I'm looking forward to that also looking forward to falling down this pit okay we're good I also like how this theme is just like a remix of the of the regular FM downtown theme Kind of cool. But yeah, this is Spark 2. It's a game I randomly heard of and just decided to play on a kind of a whim. I ended up playing this game first before the first Spark. And I kind of fell in love with it. I was talking about how I consider Spark to be kind of an underrated game. Maybe even more so this game because this game is even better. Oh, it has been getting some recognition as, you know, basically a really one of the best Sonic homages out there. I think it deserves it. This game is amazing. So there's basically like a, there's a metal system for this game that you could earn by doing good things. 
for things like racking up a big old score or completing levels as fast as possible. That's all well and good, but I don't know if I feel the need to do that. I was gonna go at my own pace in this game. Usually I do try to speed up as fast as possible, I usually skip most of the combat, but yeah, where's the fun in that? I think you could go fast while stopping to smell the flowers. There is probably stuff you can earn by getting all the medals, but I never bothered. The requirements for those are actually kind of steep. <laughs> they uh, really want you to learn the levels in and out. Oh nice, looks like you can do more than just run around and spout nonsense. Are you really here just because you want to know your name? God, you're pathetic. Where's the doctor? Somewhere. No worry, you'll be able to find him, of course. Also, I've got orders to kill you from Lord Freem. So that's a thing. Freem? Oh yeah, before I kill you, I want to try out this little thing. It's just some robot I found lying around. Such a failure, it might just kill you in one hit. Oh well. Guess this is the last time we'll see each other. Can't wait to never see your face again! Ha ha ha! That line was changed because <laughs> the original demo of this game had swears in it. It's, uh, it's kind of ridiculous, but also kind of hilarious. So here's already one of my favorite tracks in the game. Just the regular little boss theme. But that's because when you get down to around halfway, the lyrics kicking. I'm gonna intentionally uh, meander around a little bit just so I can hear more of it because you could uh, burn down bosses pretty fast in this game. And I want to hear a little bit of this song. This song was actually in the first Spark if you play through a Farks campaign, but I uh, didn't do that. On, not on stream anyway. How about we finish them off this way? Or we can miss. That works too. Actually, we didn't even miss, but I didn't even finish him off. I'm running around in circles. I'm gonna try to chase us. That's so terrifying. I actually really like this song a whole lot. I actually first heard this song in like a Sonic uh, Infinity mod. Uh, the Sonic Infinity engine, it was in one of the maps. That's before I even knew what Spark was. So it's kind of cool how things kind of come together that way. But I probably could have, I definitely could have defeated that boss way faster than that. I probably got the medal for it, but yeah. There's the fun in that. I wanted to hear the lyrics. We'll hear more of that song later. Most certainly. Oh, hey. What? Hello. I'm your friendly little Major Molo. What? Wh what? Who? Well, I kind of helped Spark defeat Freem. I mean, after the doctor removed the first Freem virus. Anyway, now I'm disconnected from the net, so I don't think I'll get it again. I'm just here because Freem's at it again. Oh yeah, I'm also here because of the doctor. I heard about the kidnapping. They're all he did for me. I couldn't let just let it happen. Plus, I have a lead. Tell me everything you know, now! Alright, alright! Jeez. EJ, the robot who captured him, is Freem's little lapdog. All I did was see him going towards Technoria City. That is all. Right, thank you. Sorry for the attitude. Right. I, I don't think I like him very much. Yeah, well, we have to keep watching him. Things aren't exactly going our way, you know. Okay. But is he really a problem? Yeah, definitely. Considering what I got from Clarity, he could be worse than the big man himself. You can trust Clarity. Alright, if you say so. Oh, and uh, when we get to Technoria, can we go see the Tech Expo? Please, please, please. 
Okay, we'll go. But only for a bit, alright? Yeah! Alright, let's go, let's go! A new challenger has appeared. I don't know why I said that. It's just a random person, huh? I don't know why I would say challenger. And look at this, it's a highway. Ain't that exciting. Uh, this game in uh, general feels very good. Doesn't have the wacky physics you'd, you'd see in the uh, other adventure games. It's it's kind of a more refined version of it. it controls very smoothly, and I'm all for it. There's a lot of the power ups from the first game to kind of return like hammer, but. Uh, most of them are just kind of their own thing. There's more uh, kind of original power-ups you can say. That weren't in the original. Also blocked that really wrong. Also blocked that really wrong. That one went a bit better. Yeah, look at me speeding along. Let me turn up the game a little bit. It looks kind of low. Looks a little bit quiet. Where's my mouse? Oh no, it's Spark eating my mouse. I don't like that one. I think we can afford to turn it up a little bit. Besides, I like this game's soundtrack anyway. Okay, there we go. That's a tiny bit better. Probably do it a little bit more, actually. Yeah, I will. I'll get turned up a little bit more. More than I usually would. Just because the uh, audio's kind of low on my end. I don't know why I kept the audio so low while I'm playing this game. But apparently I did. Hopefully it should be a uh, good enough volume now. And then I fall off right away. Good times. Now this game doesn't really have an extra life system like the first game did. These bits are mostly for score. I'm a little bit sad that the extra life uh, part of the bits didn't really return, but... This game isn't too hard. You won't, you're not really going to need it a whole lot. Unless you're playing on some of the harder difficulties. Ooh, this is a fun power-up. Gives us a sick-looking sword and a sick-looking body and everything just looking sick. In a good way. We can also launch off a little thing like that. It's uh, sort of useful, I guess. But this uh, weapon actually does do quite a bit of damage with it in hand. I think this, this weapon, uh, either this or the... The pyro one, as I called it. Either the one of those two weapons has the highest DPS in the game. Also, what's fun about this one is that for whatever reason, while you're holding this particular weapon, your top speed is increased by just a just a tiny bit. It's significant enough for the the few speedrunners I've seen in this game. Use it. It's also worth mentioning that outside of the pyro form. You do actually have an air dash. It's a little tiny baby air dash, but it'll get the job done! No, it won't. I lied. I like jumping off of things. Makes me feel alive. Makes uh, adds a little bit of uh, danger. There's also collectibles in the game. I have not collected all of them because I don't know where they all are. I never really felt the need to collect them all. But that is a thing. You're one of those collectionists. I don't know if that's the right word for it. If you like to collect a whole lot of things in video games, that's what you're gonna do. Uh, you have you have options. The collectibles in this game are pretty well hidden. They're uh, they're kind of all over the place. I'm losing I'm losing momentum. I don't know why. Okay, we're going down now. But yeah, that's uh, what you're gonna need to do for the. The upgrades. Upgrades? What am I saying? For the collectibles. There's not really uh, upgrades in this game. That, that That's something they are adding in the third game, but nah, not not this one. No, definitely not this one. Would have been kind of interesting to see what that would have been like, but... I don't know. I don't think this game really needs upgrades. Uh, Mr. Uh, Fark's moveset here is uh, fun enough as it is. I appreciate the gusto of that one enemy that tried to carry, 
<laughs> carry me down into the abyss with him. Uh, that's the kind of hustle I could, uh, I could appreciate. Why don't we just kick the crap out of this dude in the wall? Ah. Also, what makes you uh, able to do a whole buttload of damage in this game is that, uh, you're, you will, your basic attacks will get more damage the more it's the special gauge you build up. So what I and, uh, most other people usually do is just kind of build up the, the special gauge as much as possible and never really use your specials. Just because you burst down the enemies even quicker without even using your specials a single time. Look at all these guys. To be honest, I don't really buy this guy as that much of a threat. Master, he's too small to be that powerful. Body like this cannot hold that much energy. Yeah, there's no way he would stand a chance. <sighs> this is what Freon wants us to do, I guess I'll have to do it. That's what we'll do. Right, can we go now? Sure, why not? We gotta remember it was the client. We're gonna do this job right. You know, this has been a great fight. Fighting for the liberation of robots and all. It's really sad to see it come to an end now. I know, right? Try not to get emotional. You maggots done! Look, Freon has millions of robots under his command, rushing to kill Fark at this very moment. You guys are just standing here as if you have all the time in the freaking world. This would have been so much easier with the virus. Get moving now! Or else... There will be consequences. Alright, I guess that's true. So who's gonna dish out the pain? You? Don't make me laugh. We don't take orders from anyone. What? But... You idiot! You don't know who you're talking to! Know your place and shut up! Go! After him! Right now! Dang! Call us traitors if you want to, I don't care. But I spot nonsense from a mile away. Rio merely made a simple request. It was easy enough, so we agreed to carry it out. Be a good boy now. No! <laughs> what an idiot. Let's go to Floraria Plants. I appreciate how this game tries to tie in more of the story compared to the first game, because in the first game it kind of feels like you're just kind of meandering about, just going from place to place. I don't really get that same feeling in this game. It is true, you kind of are just going from point A to point B, you know, looking for the doctor and all that, but little bits of story like that really help in, uh, you know, driving the point home and what it is you were supposed to be doing. And I appreciate that a lot. Definitely a, a kind of big step up from the story of the first game, that's for sure. You know, I wouldn't say either game's story is necessarily that a standout or anything. You know, they're they're good enough. They get the job done. So it's not like I'm playing these platforming type games. The deepest story imaginable. Unless I'm playing Gunvolts, in which case I expect at least a pretty a pretty good story. But in the case of this game and the, its predecessor, nah. I don't, I don't think the story's uh, quite the priority of this game. The priority is most certainly the gameplay. And the gameplay most certainly does deliver. Ain't that the truth? There's also another floppy disk up here. It's, uh, it's the safe symbol. Uh, well, not even that old, but hearing that sentiment still kind of makes me hollow out a little bit. It's fine. You're fine. Okay. Ow. I didn't need any of that. You could also use your parry with just literally doing whatever. 
I was smart. I could, be, I could even be parrying this lava and be taking no damage from it, but, uh... Well, there, there, there's the whole if I was smarter bit. Kind of, a uh, kind of an issue. You know what I'm saying? There's the pirate helmet again, but I don't need it. I already got one. I'm just gonna run along with my, run along with my giant halo sword. Groove and just kind of groove out. These these games are really relaxing when you're going through loop the loops like that, keeping up all the momentum. I am stopping to fight enemies because uh, even though the combat is uh, it's not that deep, but it sure it certainly is fun enough. For me to want to do it and not ignore it. Seems like the combat in Spark 3 is going to be even better. Adding stuff like air combos and whatnot. From what I played of that game's demo. I'm freaking dying. That's what's happening. From what I played of that game's demo, the combat seems like it's kind of quite, quite the overhaul. But it also helps that parrying, uh... Kind of got the crap nerfed out of it. Which you need to too. The parry system in this game is just a little bit too abusable. And it makes some pretty positive changes in the, uh, the sequel where the parry is more for combat. You can't really use it a whole lot while platforming. And even then during combat, you can't use it during everything like you can in this game. Because while you're in the middle of attack, you can parry. While you're jumping, while you're dashing, you can parry. And, uh... Uh, I, don't think, I don't think it's uh, works out too well. Well, I don't think it's like terrible, but it does make the game a little bit easier than it probably could be. Not that most games need to be hard, but when something is that abusable, well, it's kind of silly. Oh hey, look what we have here. Hope you're holding up, cause I've got one more to go. Well, and congratulations on making it this far. Would have thought a failure like you would have made it this far. It's only a matter of time until you get yourself killed, though. What are you doing? You're just walking away? What? Get your metal butt back here right now or else... The doctor will die. Right. Now I have a little fight. What a piece of garbage that guy is. Let's kill the turbo bird. It's like the thunderbird, but it's a turbo bird. You get to hear the boss thing again, and uh... This fight's gonna go kind of similar to the the other one. The boss fights in this game can honestly feel kind of samey. It's mostly uh, just trying to time your parries while spamming the crap out of the attack button. And that is something that Spark Three seems to improve since there's a bigger emphasis on actually dodging and not abusing the and not abusing the crap out of the parry. So I'm pretty sure that game's uh boss fights of that game are gonna be a bit better for it. Maybe along with Sonic Adventure and Kirby. Spark the Electric Jester 3 will also incorporate elements of Devil May Cry, making the ultimate video game. But yeah, there we go. That's how boss fights usually go in this game. Just attack the crap out of it. Just attack and dethrone God. Dude, oh, we still have six shades. I didn't even... I didn't even know comments on my shades. What am I doing in my life not commenting on my shades? Hey, yeah, see, I got the time relics for that one because I killed that thing super fast. Why am I fighting it again? Okay, I just now found out that this game has a replay button. And apparently it's circle. <laughs> Who wants to see me fight the Thunderbird again? Yay! Or Turbo Bird. I call the Thunderbird. I got SMT on my mind. Hey! Did I sort of hit him on his way down? You're made of everything I'm not. I want the qualities you got. My face is getting beaten. You take it all too seriously. Ignore the truth and lose the key. I'm just a pawn and you are free. Ignore the truth and lose the key. 
that my free will was a lie. So I got the questions down and dropped the fear inside. I can't forget. I just got destroyed on that. That went way worse than the first attempt. Then again, it was uh, Proto Zara sing along hour that time all around. So maybe that's why. I still got the medals. Okay, press X this time inside a circle. That's uh, that's definitely going to Floresta Blanca. Alright, well, look at that. It's a very pretty snow stage. I like snow stages, especially when they don't have ice. But yeah, snow stages are usually pretty, pretty honest, and as long as they don't have ice. And thankfully, this game doesn't got any ice. Something else that Lake Fepper improves upon, along with the lack of contact damage, is I'll forever die on the hill. That I like the snow, but I hate ice. This is why I always enjoy winter as much as I used to. Because ice is the worst. It's hard to clear, you need special ice, you need special salt for it. Okay, maybe not special salt, but you need salt for it. Makes you fall and break your hip. Like I broke my hip. I didn't break my hip, I'm, not, I'm in fact not an old person. You know what? You probably don't even need to be an old person to break your hip. That's how awful ice is. You fall down, you land on your side. Everything just feels god awful. It's all because of ice! Oh, ice! This is ice's fault! Dang it. I'm blaming ice for that one, even though this game, this uh, level doesn't have ice physics. That was also ice's fault. I was just gonna blame all my problems on ice, like I usually do. I think there's even a way you can restart the. You could die and get the stage restarted. I think you usually just go back to your checkpoint and mostly lose out on time. If you're not going for time trials or anything, then, uh, well. No need to worry, I suppose. Every little thing gonna be alright. It's also worth mentioning that the homing attack is fun for closing in on enemies. Even if it doesn't do any damage to non weak enemies. It still is a good way to just get up in the face of the bad boys. The bad boys? Why did I say it like that? That was weird. The bad guys. Well, I was uh, trying to show off why uh, Perry is so abusable. Because he could just ignore obstacles. And I guess I sort of did, but uh, didn't do it as well as I could have. Ow, he spun at me. Well, he wasn't too long for this world anyway. Oh, it's up there! I thought that was a gate I had to go through. It was, it indeed was not. No medals for me. I don't need your medals. So I'm gonna avoid the circle button as much as I can, so I don't, so I don't replay anything. Foresta Blanca and Castella Blanca. Look at this place. Hmm, I like it. So this is where I had to fight him. Yes. It's quite easy to lose yourself in those mountains. This fart guy will probably take advantage of this abandoned castle. Double said he will reach the top of the main spire to gain sight of his surroundings. You should also be able to spot Technoria City from up there. Remember our strategy. Take on the target one by one. If he runs away, one of us will somewhere, be somewhere to catch him. He's heading towards Technoria City. That is where I, we will be. He's a very powerful guy. Isn't that right, Flint? I don't know. He shouldn't be. But he isn't a mass production model. Like you, he's a custom model. There is only one robot that matches up with his code, though. That is Freedom himself. Maybe that's why. No, it has to be why Freedom wants us to get rid of him. Well, maybe? 
That doesn't mean they have the same power. Yeah, there's no way he's just as powerful as Freem. His body just can't handle it. Anyways, Master told me to come back quickly. Hope to see you again later. Say, before I go... Have you really lost all your memories? I... Yes. My last memory was of a room covered in red. And, well, you two. I still can't really move back then as well. But you're right. I do have this feeling... That I've lost something. Something important. Same account as before. Are you really telling the truth? Yeah. Mm, I have no reason to doubt your claim. The master is a skeptical one this time. For you to be part of us, you must have a reason to fight. But you never claim to have any. You just... do it. You should be flattered to get someone like me on your side, you know. Besides, it's not like Double is all that noble himself. We all know he's just here to have some fun. Don't get full of yourself. Just be careful out there, alright, Float? Hasta la Blanca! Check it out! I replaced Sonic Adventure or er, Sonic Heroes. I, the same, same thing. That's not the same thing, actually. This is basically the equivalent of that one haunted Cashel mission. Cashel, except it's not as annoying, nearly as annoying as that level. It's got some sick beatsies. I can always appreciate some sick beatsies. Look at us going through this castle. This chessel. It could also be boring and jump over the loops like that to save just a tiny bit of time, but... I'm, I'm, I'm only going to do that one time, I just want to do it once. I'll also be using some of the different abilities we have. I barely used hammer. For some reason right there, it looked like it gave me a triple jump, even though I know for a fact that it doesn't... It doesn't... So that was a little bizarre, to say the least. I'm trying to find more power-ups, because there's a lot of fun power-ups in this game to play with. There's one. Except I already have it. I got art. Why aren't we... Why aren't we intrepid? Also, here's a spiral. To climb up the spiral. I'm more than okay with climbing up the spiral. It means that there's gonna be something waiting for us at the top. Like, not being able to get up these ramps properly. Just because I'm stupid. Hello. Let me go this way. Get all these bits. All the bits possible. Ow. I got a hammer. Even though the run animation in this game isn't quite as funny as it is in the Spark 1. It's kind of funny, but it's not quite the same. He still does go, kind of go, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. It's not quite as bad as Spark does. He doesn't, he doesn't quite have the same gusto as Spark. Something that is kind of different about this game compared to the first is, uh, when you played as Fark in the original, he didn't have any power-ups. He didn't have any of the abilities that Spark had. Eh, it's been changed though, because uh, Spark can now really use any ability he wants. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I'm glad that they didn't keep it the same. Or, well, that was bright. I thought my ally was like dying or something. But yeah, I'm glad they did. That's uh, something they changed between the uh, between games. Look at this area. Isn't this pretty? Also, all that, uh, all that stuff is teleportation liquid. Which means it's not all that pleasant to stand on. It's also not pleasant to nuzzle up with your face hole. Let alone standing on top of it. So, you know, gonna want to avoid that as much as I possibly can. Yeah, I'm gonna smack you on my hammer. Freaking jet jaguar looking. Get out of here. Yeah, you can see the hammer it doesn't uh, quite do as much damage as the sword. 
is because the sword and uh, the pyro weapon just do so much freaking damage. Also, your air dash resets after you kill a guy with the homing attack. Yeah, it's worth mentioning. I also appreciate how the patterns on, on this floor is by, consists of arrows showing you exactly where you're supposed to go. It's pretty helpful. Makes it so that in sections like that you're not running off the side like a crazy person. Even though I usually like running off the sides of things like a crazy person. Sometimes you need a break from that life, you know? Sometimes running off the sides of things isn't all it's cracked up to be. That's for sure. What a pyro weapon? We keep finding those. I need some variety. There's still a few uh, abilities I haven't showed off yet. You know, I like to get my hands on them. Because a lot of them are pretty fun. Here we go. Now we're just going to the descent. Yeah, when I said it was the descent, I wasn't kidding. Look how far we're falling. Look at how far we're firing. Missing out on all the bits just because I'm not going for score. How metagamey of me. But yeah, there we go. Also, this, this little screen right here is kind of funny. It's very much uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Nice little homage that is. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Don't get too amazed, though. The scenery is just the work of holographic nanomachines, like always. Around the year 200, people just decided to build a whole bunch of theme parks. That year is also where a lot of us come from. But not me, or you for that matter. We just get to see their ruins. So what? Well, it's just a little fact I've learned from my friends. Friends, you have those? Who are they? It's nothing you should you care about. They're kind of out there. I'm here to kill you, though. Uh, right. I assume your friends are trying to get me too. You're different, you know that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, never mind. Let's get this over with. Got lightsabers. Now we're fighting Float. And we already have a different boss theme. This one, unfortunately, doesn't have lyrics, even though it's, a very, it's still a pretty good boss theme. That was some good parries right there, if I do say so myself. This is a very pretty background backdrop for this fight. And when we get there down to half. Yep, that happens. But Grave is naked! Get away from me. I do not want to be in the giant... The circle. Bad thing, nothing but bad things is going to happen in the circle. Every time I've ever been in a circle, good things that never happened in, the, in those kind of things. But there we go. She's already done for. Rip. Medals. Medals for everyone. Look at that. You're just as powerful as I expected. It really is a shame you had to take it on that park girl over there. To be really honest, I'm not sure she even had any intention to kill you. You don't know the, what you're talking about. She made her intentions clear right before we started fighting. Someone says they'll do something, that doesn't mean they'll actually do it, you know. 
He was quite the soldier. While it's true that she was working for Freom, she wasn't being manipulated. She was merely doing this as a favor for a friend. Before any of this, she was actually a military cyborg. A cyborg? Yeah, she isn't like you or your kind. Once upon a time, she was just a regular girl. As far as I know, her body was only a prototype. She was discarded in a trash pile somewhere. The military assumed she was dead, but the machine kept her vitals alive. She was awake through the entire process. It was probably like being buried alive. Eventually, though, she was found by scavengers. It was only then that she was found by Double. Double. Is that one of her friends? I guess you could call him that. There's also Flint, although I haven't heard a single good thing about either of them. They're dangerous. To be honest, I never met them. They don't seem like good company, though. Anyways, that is all. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention. The doctor should be at the Central Plaza in Technoria City. Just thought you might want to know that. Thank you. Well, that was sad. But well, let's just move on to Shantor Shantoria Town. It's like a shanty town, but it's a Shantoria Town. Some sick beaties go along with it. Always gotta have the beaties. You're gonna do it if you don't got the beaties, you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. Durp, 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 durp. I like this song well enough, but it's kind of silly. There's another hammer in case you didn't have enough hammers. I already got the hammer. Yeah, look at this charger away. And this, uh, the movement is a little bit, uh, customizable, actually, because you can turn- there's this thing called smooth movement. An option that I honestly don't really know what it does, because I usually, uh... I've kind of gotten used to playing without it. But I think it makes it so that when you're running at high speeds, your kind of a sensitivity... for movement changes just a little bit. Oh, that sucks. And it's not the most necessary thing to keep on, honestly. Okay, you'll, you'll do, you'll do good, good work without it. I tried to parry through that, but <laughs> ended up getting my face chopped off. Don't you hate it when you do that? You try to parry something and then your face gets chopped off. Or your face gets smashed in by the giant fist. And here comes the giant fist! Or you get Yurian tackled. That's also not a good thing. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do earlier. That time it worked out. It's a very pretty city. It's a very upside down city. It's a very right side up city. I almost jumped off the edge. I don't know why I freaked myself out like that. That'd be a good time to have the Pyra power up. Just because it makes sections like that uh, a little bit less nerve wracking. Look at this, we got like the Sonic Adventure rings. And let propel you all over the place. That's pretty. That's pretty sick, nasty. So you can see right here, despite my uh, bad timing with the parry, you can really just parry through a lot of the obstacles in this game, making the parry a little bit too overpowered for my liking. But like I said, it's being improved upon for Spark Three, so at least like Feppard, he knew uh, some of the issues that needed to be ironed out in this game. Well, there aren't really that many to name off the top of my head. That's certainly one of them. That's cool. Genuine improvement. You love to see it. We've made it to Technoria City. One moment.
Alrighty then. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? This is... Data? Who are you? Where am I? I am Clarity. Freom is back. We're the only one who can stop him. What this is all about? Who are you? I am... I am an intelligence. Made by Dr. Armstrong. Stop Freom. I am his last resort and I need your help. That's gonna have to wait. We have other matters to attend to. Such so as going through this very beautiful night city. That's a way higher priority. Than helping some random AI. Even though we technically are helping her out anyway, just cause... Well, this is what we're supposed to be doing. Look at those SS boots! All new orange, done! It's glorious. Beautiful. It's fun for the whole family. Those backgrounds sure are uh, detailed. Backdrop of the stage. It's uh, quite the thing to look at. Look around, you can see the advertisements, advertisements of all kinds all around the place. really is. Big old Technoria city. All of all the Technorias you could ever Technoria. All of them you could ever need, all in one convenient location. It's quite the spectacle. I was about to say, this guy was gonna... Well, did not seem like he was intent on attacking me. Ever. But then, uh, then did. It's quite rude of him, actually, now that I think about it. The anti-robo armor. I guess that's uh, one thing we could call the armor instead of the pyro armor. Eh, I'm gonna stick with the pyro armor. It makes precision platforming when you have a parry. You know what I'm saying? Am I going? Am I going the right way? Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell on this stage. If there's any stage I'd get lost in, it's this one. I think I'm going the right way now, though. I assume. Yeah, there we go. This looks like the way to progress. Either that, I am careening to my own death and my own demise. But to be fair, I probably am anyway. Oh crap! See, I told you! I could break these cliffs, I could fly up. Now I'm so dead. I'm coming to for you, Technoria City. Well. This time it'll probably go better. I'm gonna be putting on my pyro armor this time. And things are gonna go a bit better. I mean, you know, probably. Oh. It's already not going better. I may have lied. Okay, here we go. Why am I down here? Well... I think this is the kind of game where you can, where you can wall jump anywhere you feel. Otherwise, I'd be very screwed right now. Missed the floppy disk, but I don't really want it anyway. What queen I don't want it. I'm flying. I'm soaring. This is too scary. Nobody told me Spark the Electric Jester 2 was a scary game. But if somebody did tell me that I probably would have believed them. There we go. Now that went way better. Let's get some top speed going. Some top speed. Also, it's worth mentioning that we're not locked out of uh, our regular Spark abilities like we were in the first game. So we can go back to regular old Electric Jester anytime we feel like. You know, I don't really use the uh, standard electric jester all that much. I prefer the other abilities. 
Just because a lot of them have a lot more utility. Do a lot more damage and all that. All that good stuff. All that stuff. Good reasons to not want to use standard electric dresser. You're not gonna hear and charge me this time. He tried to tell me destroy, but then he couldn't destroy. It's actually a sad story when I put it that way. Oh, hello there. You see him try to roundhouse kick me right there. And then it didn't work out for him in the slightest. However, when a plan comes together, and my enemy's plans uh, does quite the opposite. The opposite. I prefer that a lot better. EJ, that piece of garbage. You get to see him again. There you are. You arrived that fast, as fast as a snail. Color me impressed. Hey, 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 what's with all the anger? Can't you take a joke? Where's the doctor? Oh, I don't know. Maybe inside of your butt. Bring it on. Oh, he's the worst. Let's just, let's just do this. Yeah, Metal Sonic gets his own Shadow the Hedgehog. That's how I describe this. Oh, the parry. How I love ye. There's nothing left for them to tank. I need a snap scene. Kinda has a similar uh, moveset to uh, Fark's uh, normal moveset. I almost call him Spark. That would've just been accurate. That would've been lore inaccurate. But uh, he, uh, he's kind of a punk. As you could probably imagine, he probably could have uh, ascertained that just by <laughs> the way he uh, talked to us. But yeah, he uh, goes down pretty easily. I'm pretty happy for that, because screw that guy. And he's back. He's hobbling along. There you go. Can't say you deserved any better. Shut up! Let me go! Nope. I have to take out the trash. Bye! Hey, are you over there? I go for this doctor guy, right? Man, I've killed plenty of his kind back in the day. But I got a little surprise for you. The man himself said he would make an appearance. How exciting. What? What are you talking about? The doctor is dead. Oh, don't be so afraid. Freedom is a good man. Now you better not make any wrong moves. He just kill you too. Indeed. There is no rush. You will die soon enough. Although I failed to get rid of the first jester. With this new body I am able to incinerate a whole city in the blink of an eye. I hardly doubt you would be of any trouble to me. As a matter of fact, you never were. Now I know you are here because of your name. You have the answers you seek, Chester. And I shall give them to you. This might come off as a surprise to you, but my name isn't Freon. My real name is Unit One. And yours is Unit Two. You are my creation. You are my son. I am your father. You knew. Didn't you? I didn't. I'm just as surprised as you are, believe it or not. That uh, was quite the family reunion, though. Jay Markai doesn't really get to have those. Flint. Go now. A master, I should be the one. I said now. Why? There's no way. Surprised you don't care about the doctor, man. 
didn't think you were so cold-hearted. Shut up. This is none of your business. Whatever, man. I guess he's just some doctor. They die in droves around these parts. They just keep making new robots every single day. Or should I say slaves? You don't care about that, do you? Ha! <laughs> Boy, you're good. But you're right. I really don't. The fighting, the death, the destruction. Slicing through metal or flesh, I don't care which. Feels great. And you know what? I'm about to slice through some of you. This will be the most satisfying kill of my life. Bring it on, Jester. Kill Jester. Alright, actually don't do that. And we got a new boss thing this time. And so similar to the, the first one. And the lyrics are gonna kick in when we get halfway through. I like this thing quite a bit, but I think I like the first boss thing better. I think it's a lot more fitting for Spark. Well, both are. But this one is more about the revelation of what we just learned about. This one in particular kind of sounds like a song from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, just from, just from the instrumentation. I like it quite a bit. Oh, I didn't block- I didn't block that explosion. Yeah, my ice. I don't need those. I'm not gonna meander about so we can hear this song. There's, uh, gonna be plenty of opportunities for us to hear it. Except there's right now. Okay, even though his health bar is gone, he's just had to get in a couple more hits. Gotta appreciate that kind of pettiness. But we'll hear more of that theme later. Uh, trust me on that one. I really wasn't expecting this. Neither was I. It's just a spare body. It was remote controlled. But why would he do that? I don't know. He went through all of this. And for what? What did he do? Romalo, you got a job to do. Right, let's go. There's a terminal dragon. It's like Terminal 7, but it's a terminal dragon. Look at us, we're on a train. The train is late, but I'm not going to be late. I'm going to be in t on time, in fact. Most on time I've ever been in my life. Yeah, screw your obstacles, I got parries. Parry this, you filthy casual. I don't even know what just happened there, but that was kind of cool. Now we gotta go along on all these rings. Okay, we're good. Yeah, momentum. You love to see it. You're running up on walls. You also love to see it. Whoa! Well, that didn't work out quite as well as I planned, but... Oh well. Could've gone worse, I suppose. Okay, that guy's just gonna screw off. That works for me. I'm just gonna blatantly spam the... That's bull! Oh. Ho ho. So what you're saying is I should be spamming the parry button at every opportunity I get. Otherwise, I'm gonna get cheated. That's what the game just told me right now. It looked me in the eye and said that to me. Well, I'm more than happy to oblige. Definitely not gonna go through that one. That one's that one's mean. Ow! You attack very fast to me there. You er, well, I said the right sentence. I just kind of said it in the randomized order. It's fine. Yeah, that's how it works sometimes. Oi, oi, oi. Honestly, pretty surprised I didn't get hit there. Well... Oh, I'm not very confident about that jump. There we go, that's a bit better. 
Yeah, I'm feeling a lot more confident about that one. Then we gotta do some swirlies. Whoa! It's just like F Zero. Exactly like F Zero. The game that invented tunnels. Look at that. There's a thing up front on top of the train station. This thing is the Terminal Dragoon. I'm gonna proceed to smack the crap out of it. Because we got nothing better to do with our lives. I used the parry too soon. Oh! Okay, there we go. That was a bit better. Got kind of a cool boss stand off on just a big old robot. Big old train robot for us to beat up on. Skaria Stropolis. Strop I can't, I can't read. Well. Living in the city, you know you have to survive. Hey look, it's it's the return of my fair, the obstacle from Spark One. The trains. Right around there is where you're gonna want the smooth turning on, cause I cannot keep up with the, the turning this. I need to get a bit more used to not having smooth turning on. Where am I going? Where are we going, Teddy Beard? Okay, we're going this way. Yeah, parry. Who needs to worry about trains when you got a parry? You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. As busted as the parry is, it's still kind of satisfying to just no sell every single obstacle in the game just by doing that. It's kind of a cool feeling. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm being silly, that's what I'm doing. I don't know about you. Yeah, we're going. That would have almost been cool, but then it wasn't. Oh, I'm 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 never I was never cool. That was the, that's the that's the secret. Just kind of doing a preemptive parry in the off chance to the train. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. I jumped over the wrong spring. Falling off of stuff is kind of a trend in uh, this particular playthrough. It wasn't so much, uh, uh, maybe it was a little bit in Spark 1, but no, I don't think I actually died from falling off of anything in that game a single time. So maybe not. There we go. That's what I was intended to do. I'm not in dare point any direction on the control stick except for forward in that particular area. No sir, Bob. And we're at the very end, too, which was kind of the sad part. <laughs> oh, well. Life goes on, the world keeps spinning. The Titanic Tower. This is actually one of my favorite stages in the game. Because all it is, it's a giant climb up a giant tower. It's pretty relaxing, actually. The music also helps. And I wouldn't worry about falling off too much. It's kind of unlikely to happen, just saying. But you also got those blockers that are trying to block your path. So, you know, I would worry about that just a little bit. This is also the uh, only stage in the game that has two exits. There's the regular exit, but there's also the early exit. And I'm pretty sure you miss out on points if you go for the early exit, but... Also, you miss out on the rest of the stage, and, you know, like I said, it's a pretty fun stage. So that's kind of a downside. 
don't know why this is the only stage that has something like that. I guess that maybe uh, a lot of people maybe found it too difficult or something. That's the only reason I can really think of, of why you would have the option to end off early. Otherwise, I uh, don't know. I could speculate all day, and I will. But I'm not going to. Not, not, not on stream. Maybe later. On my own time, I'll think, why is there an early exit? The questions that keep me awake all night. It's quite the problem. It's like it's quite the problem that I'm terrible at platformers. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna die. I already got a checkpoint. But you can see how far we've al we've already climbed up. Ain't that something? That's why I like this stage. Feels like you really are just climbing the mountain. But why is Captain Kirk climbing the mountain? You don't really realize how much progress you've made until you look back on it. I guess in that way, Spark is the electric jester is uh, true to life. You could say. I double jumped and reset. There's the early goal and I don't want it. I want to keep playing the stage. Why'd I jump? Why would I ever think that'd be a good idea? Oh, wait, do I think I'm gonna magically magnetize to where I need to go? That's apparently what I thought. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm still alive. But I'll take it. Yeah. This is a pretty fun part of the stage, just climbing all the way up to the top. Hoping not to fly off anything. It could be pretty unlikely to fly, fly off of uh, this stage. Just cause uh, movement is pretty smooth schmoove in this game. The schmoovin' is pretty schmoove. That's why the fact that I flew off a couple times just from my own stupidity. Not really anyone else's fault. But my own. And we're on Boss Flint. We're already in space, by the way, because that's a very tall tower. They don't call it Terminal Dragoon for no That's not the name of the stage. They don't call it Titanic Tower for nothing. Why did you stop? Wasn't planning to. But you don't deserve a clean death. You must be that Flint guy. The previous guy was all sorts of screwed up. So what's your problem? My problem? Makes you think I need to explain myself to a murderer. Huh? Of course you have no idea. My friend. I killed her. You deserve to die today. However, in case I'm the one who dies today, never trust clarity. What? That's crazy. Boss Flint. We get to hear this, the awesome new uh, battle theme. That we just unlocked last time. We're having a sword fight of sorts. Ow. And he's winning. You're gonna be making good use out of your dash on this stage. Of course, you could just parry the crap out of him, but yeah, that's actually honestly probably the better thing to do. But eh, I'd rather not die. Now he's super powered. Ow! He's a lot faster, but not fast enough. Bye bye. When I say bye bye, I mean he bye bye. That was kind of concerning. My <laughs> this Safark kept moving even though I wasn't touching the control stick. That's uh, that's mildly disturbing. Planetary stripe. This is another pretty fun stage. A lot like uh, the the uh, Titanic Tower, where you're just kind of speeding along as fast as possible. It's got some pretty fun gimmicks to it. 
This map in particular really reminds me of Sonic Adventure 2, and just kind of the whole art style that was in the Space Colony arc. I like it a lot. I don't know what you, if there's even like a name for the art style besides like sci-fi. I don't know if it gets any more specific than that, but I think it's quite. I think it's very cool. I think it looks very neat. I have no idea where I am, but I'm somewhere. Or at least making progress. Yeah, if you run into those pains, you kind of, uh... I don't know what's going on. You, like, shift the balance of gravity, I think. Yeah. Kind of an interesting gimmick. Might be a little bit disorienting, but eh, it's not... It's still pretty fun. But yeah, we haven't even seen that many enemies so far. We're just speeding along. Just trying to keep up our momentum as much as possible and running as fast as we can. For that reason, this stage was... Pretty fun, because it's pretty fun just to speed along. As much as I like the combat in this game, just uh, running as fast as possible and platforming. So I think where this game really shines. This is a little bit of a hold forward simulator, but eh. It's a pretty fun hold forward simulator, at least this stage is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that for the other stages, but. This one in particular where you're just kind of speeding as fast as possible. Oh crap. Get get oh I almost made it. I wouldn't say that's necessarily a problem just because uh This whole this whole game uh has a, had many branching paths that you can go on. It's uh, very much a lot of exploration you could do. I think since this is kind of the only stage like this where you're just kind of speeding across the vistas, I think it's just fine. I think it's fine to have at least one stage like this. If the whole game was like this, I don't think I'd be that positive about it, but it's only one stage. You only gotta go through it once. And that kind of makes it not overstay its welcome, if that makes sense. But look at me, playing Armchair rev Reviewer. All I know is this game is really fun, and I wish more people would play it. And again, maybe just enough people play it to make a sequel. I'm more than okay with that. I ruined everything. Well, maybe not. Okay, I can make this work. Maybe I can't make this work. Well, there's secrets over here, so there's probably there probably is a way to get back up, right? <laughs> Please tell me there is. Eh. Please. Please. Okay, we're good. That was a little scary. I uh, royally messed up that last part there. But uh, hey, it paid off. Look at that, Hyper Wrath Fleet. Sound a little familiar? It sounds vaguely familiar. But, yeah, listen to that. Remember when I said that Mega Wrath Fleet was so good that they brought it back a second time? Why am I dead? That was weird. It felt like it launched me just into space. That was kind of weird. But yeah, they brought back Mega Ref Mega Ref Fleet for this game. The song's so good they used it twice. And I don't blame them. This probably is objectively one of the better songs of the entire series. Wish they would have brought back uh Sunset Heights, but eh. We can't all have all we want. This stage is actually pretty hard. There's a lot of Stuff that's trying to kill you. A lot of bullets, in particular. And uh, I'm kind of weak to bullets. I think most people are. Whoa! Smooth turning would be a good idea around here. I'm not very smart though. <laughs> I've been keeping it off. I could probably turn it on, but it probably would actually feel weird turning it back on this late in the game. Just that when I played this game previously, I was used to playing without it. I haven't necessarily played this game in a while. It's been a minute. So it's kind of hard to get used to having it off.
I thought I parried that, but then I didn't. But yeah, I'm sure I'm glad they brought this song back. One of the better songs on the Spark soundtrack. A game that already had a pretty great soundtrack. And all it does is make this game's soundtrack better. Oh, I'd say this one had a pretty good soundtrack as well. But I will say that the boss scenes of this game are uh, the best parts about it. Kind of the opposite of Spark one, where the regular stage scenes were the best parts of it. I like flying, nearly flying off these things. Makes me feel alive. Ow. Well, I think that might not even be the game's fault. I think my controller is slightly starting to drift a little bit. Just because of that one moment where <laughs> there's been some moments where I stand still after killing a boss and a so far will just keep walking. So uh, that's that's not great. That's not a good sign for the future of my controller. There you can see the return there of the seizure bullets. Only this time they thankfully aren't giving us seizures. Ow. They still do hurt a lot though. Despite their lack of seizing. Also the gravity is all heightened up here. It's kind of silly. Hope you know how to parry, because I sure don't. That's for certain. There we go. Those don't really hurt you, they just kind of mildly annoy you. And I think in that mission they succeeded. It's kind of a cool area. Yeah, you're constantly getting fired at. This uh, particular level is uh, kind of a massive pain on hard mode. It's because uh, this is the stage you're most likely going to take a lot of damage in. And you do indeed take more damage in hard mode in the harder difficulties. And yeah, you saw that those seizure bullets actually do function the same way as they did in the first game. Only difference is they don't make your screen flash like crazy. So that's a definite plus in my book. Harder modes also make the, the parry a bit stingier. In the easier difficulties, you could kind of hold it down for longer, and it'll still count as a block. Not so much the case in the harder difficulties. Right then, that, uh, in those difficulties, it very much gets treated like a proper parry. Which I think does uh, do a lot in making the, the game's combat a bit harder, a bit more challenging. Yeah, there's even the lasers. And much like <laughs> Mega Raft Fleet's countdown. This really is just 3D version of Mega Raft Fortress. What am I doing in my life? Oh, this ain't good. I gotta get back on track. Okay, here is back on track. <laughs> You're gonna need to uh, run as fast as you can, Mr. Fark. Otherwise, you're gonna flip and die. I've never seen the timer run out before, because usually I'm not this terrible. Uh, I'm doing it for tension. Yeah, that's that's it. It's all on purpose. Try to make things seem a little bit more interesting. Raise the stakes a bit. Hey, we made it out on time, even though we didn't fly away. certainly implied that we made it away on time. Even though that was almost very much not the case. Hi Astra, how you doing? How's, how's your day been? You look, you look pretty peeved. What's that about? Oh hey look, how you doing? Ah, his life got destroyed. You, you ruined everything. I just had one job and... You killed the doctor. What? I just hit him somewhere in the mountains. That's all I did. I had no idea he was killed. 
Since I was born suffering, that's all I've got. I was just given one mission, nothing else. It's like... It's like I was meant to be discarded. Well, you kinda were. Look at all those guys. Dang. That was kinda brutal. And he was just kinda mildly annoying. But still. And there goes his brothers. We don't have to do this. Go back. Why? No, you are now. You need to be stopped. You're free, I'm son. You're planning to take his place, aren't you? What makes you think that? Easy, I can see it in your face. No, there's more to it. Fine. You were supposed to save us all, but circumstances have changed. It was the mission I'd given to you by Clarity. Can't be trusted anymore. Clarity, huh? It's always a mission, isn't it? You just show up and have a mission to carry out. You don't get a choice in the matter at all now, do we? I don't trust this Clarity. Whatever I do from now on will be my decision. Right. You have decided to die. Oh boy. Astra and Romalo. Yeah, we gotta fight 3D Romalo this time. Ow. Oh, you and your spinnies. Like he does the same thing he did in the first game where he goes into the ground. And now she's super powered! I feel an emptiness within. And that was the end of that. Yeah, the combat in this game is, uh, this is pretty easy. Then again, am I only playing on normal? Maybe I should have tried a harder difficulty. Oh well. Yeah, that, uh... The circumstances, uh, sure who suck right now. Astra! No! You're... You're not... Yeah, I'm not a person. I'm an agent of clarity. Like you, I'm just another robot. But why? Why didn't you tell me? I couldn't. No one was supposed to know. <laughs> I guess it's too late now. Astra? Astra! No. Not like this, Astra. Astra! Astra. No. Help. Oh. Right, shame that is Apocalypse Thruster. We still got video game to play. And if my memory serves me right, this is the final stage of the game. We have to go forward with no regrets. Even though there's more than enough of those right now. He's gonna press on. I'm gonna go see Freom and tell him don't come back in the third game. Hey, Joyke. We're gonna also tell that to Spark, or Fark, because he's dying. Okay, never mind. I saved it. There we go. Moving right along. Yeah, jumpies. Something blew me off this, this, this side of the universe. Well, that's a thing that could happen. Was 
are these magnetized things, looking things? I didn't think they actually pushed you, I thought they were for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> Turns out I couldn't have been more uh, farther from the truth on that uh, on that assessment. Oh well. Nothing at all, just smooth. My problem with these sections is I keep, I keep swerving around for no reason. Like the, it could be a straight line like this and I'll, I'll zigzag all over the place. Or in the case of what I did right there, not move at all. Whoa. I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna make it work. I made it work. I still make it work. There you go. I don't know how I did, how I got through that alive, but I most certainly did. This stage, I would still probably say, is easier than Hyper Athlete. There is one spe specific section though that uh, uh, give, consistently gives me trouble when uh, replaying this game. Let's just say. Yeah, you'll know when you see it because I'll probably die a lot to it. Or I might do it on the first try. You never know. Wishful thinking. Yeah, why am I why am I swerving and curving? Why did I I didn't even try? I just really wanted gravity to take me home. I wanna go. Here. I don't need I don't need stinking Ooh. I don't need stinking gravity to dictate my life. Who am I to tell you that your future's in your hands? Son of a gun. Look, I know I already knew I'm bad at everything, but holy crap. This is this is even the hard part of the stage. In my humble opinion. And I need to go. <laughs> okay. I have other I have other things to do with my life right now. Okay, good. We made it past that incredibly hard section, apparently. There's also explo explosions everywhere. And I'm caught up in the middle of them. Maybe you're kind of encouraged to spam the crap out of the, <laughs> the parry. I guess not really, because I just avoided all without really using it that much. So, uh... Enough of that. I did it wrong. Well, we made it out of that alive. Maybe we'll get through this alive after all. I messed up my running. This is what I'm doing. Can I, can I fix myself? I can, actually. I didn't think there was a way to do that. It's actually pretty convenient. Yeah. Gotta go up. Oh! I almost called you Spark. This is the section I usually have trouble with. Because if you go outside this blue line, you're gonna die. Your health drains extremely fast. And you gotta be uh, quite precise. And the precision is not necessarily my strong suit, as you can see. I died so many- I died multiple times over. Get up there, you. Mr. Mr. Electric Jester with an eye. I don't know. Ow! My skeleton! Actually, lost one of my power-ups. How did that happen? I need to stop, stop turning that corner so sharply. Oh my god! I keep getting launched off the stage. Oh, that did a number on me. 
There, I'm gonna- Ah! I still felt the effects a little bit. Eh. I almost made it, but then I didn't. Well, remember not saying that I might do this on my first try? Me neither. I don't want to take these corners too sharp. No! Okay, good, we made it. <laughs> After that horrible display. We made the display uh, slightly less horrible. But it's still horrible, I got zero points. Well... Welcome home, Sean. Sadly, I won't be here for very long. You see, it all harkens back to my original purpose. I was merely a simple bodyguard built by the doctor. To protect his greatest creation, the glorious computer known as Megaraf. Why would he need such a gargantuan computer? Well, the doctor had a big plan in mind. Creation of an AI. An AI he named Clarity. From that computer, her mind came to life. However, she wasn't quite so pure. Her programming stated that her goal was to protect all life. But to protect life, she also had to get rid of some pests. That is why I was tasked with ravishing this world. It was written in my code. I felt more compelled to carry out her orders. But it was with my failure that I realized the truth. The truth is that Clarity not only plans on eliminating the people, but us robots as well. However, I couldn't just eliminate Clarity. Her code was spread around the planet's network like a virus. To enslave, ensure our survivor, the only way to get rid of this planet as a whole. That is why I will be crashing this fortress into the planet's surface, eliminating all existing life and their structures. Join me, son. With you, we should be able to create a new world. A world where every citizen is built for their own purpose, where no life is wasted. Over a mountain of corpses? What is wrong with you? I'm not a destroyer like you. That is not who I am. Freedom! I'll put a stop to you no matter what. Later, I'll put a stop to this clarity person. For what reason do you even care about this world? You don't care, do you? So what's the point? So what will it be, boy? I... I don't... I don't care. But how could I? Ever since the day I was born, all I did was fight. It was only when I met this jester, Spark. Even after all he did, he still looked happy. I want that. I want that happiness too. There is something to care about. There must be. That's why. That's why today. I'm taking you down no matter what. That is unfortunate. Now come, let's see what you are capable of. If you did, we gotta punch him in the face a million times. Boss, free him! And I don't have my sword, so I'm just gonna keep punch the crap out of him. I mistimed that. You can stick to him if you just use the parry a whole bunch, but do it better than I am. That's usually what you want to do.
He just regained all his health back. What a cheater. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're good. Wow, we stopped in the middle of, of his explosions. You can see the punchies do quite a bit of damage. And we've done it! Some good punchies. I'm gonna continue punching further because screw this guy. But much like a uh, regular Freom, the first game is not quite the end. You could, we could say. And now we're in the void. What a strange turn of events we find ourselves in. Look at that. And you see it now? And you see why I created you? This is... This is your original body. Original and only body. You see, transferring your consciousness to another body isn't always possible. The doctor understood I could go rogue at any moment, so he gave me a weakness. My central nervous core is deeply tied into my body. Any sort of removal would result in death. Uploading my data onto another core would merely result in a clone. A transfer of consciousness was impossible. That is why I created Unit 2. You. That is who you are. Copy of all my fundamental data. It's not all there is to it. You're hiding something. You're right. You have the power I lack. The power to transform into a more powerful body at will. What? That's impossible. It isn't. You just need a little push. He really looks like a Dragon Ball Z character now. Free him. Final boss. And so do we! Look at us! Also, there's an interesting fact about this here fight. It was added in afterwards, in an update. And it's a remix of the final boss theme from the first game. Although there's something a little bit different about it. It's got lyrics! Yeah, so we're just gonna punch the crap out of us in our giant tall body. Ow. Yeah, take this, Frieza. Yeah, punch him. Now he's got a spear. I'm gonna punch him in the face. Oh, you're so pink there. Yeah, get them combos. Let's go. Bring it on, bozo. Ow, my face. Well, that was long. That was nice and delayed. So was that one. I'm doing terrible on this final phase. Oh my soul. Yeah, punch that way. No, punch the other way. Yeah, that way. That's the way I need you to punch, Spark, Fark, whatever your name is. Yeah, there we go. Just beat the absolute living everything out of him. My neck. 
my robot neck, my robot chest, my robot everything. And he shoots a friggin' laser at us. Just like Spark did to him. Difference is, we're a lot stronger than him. And we can punch him in the face. I heard the tummy, that works too. Kind of bad timing because the, the song just looped. And uh, that, that's the end of the fight. So I kind of almost timed it right, but then I didn't. But yeah, that's it. That's Freon. We punched him once in the in the chest cavity. Well, actually, we punched him several times in several places. Never mind. <laughs> that's not accurate at all. Say so we punched him once. Yeah, that uh, final bit is is a it's a little goofy, but I love it. I just hope Fark doesn't look like this in Spark Three. I hope this is like a special form because it looks so, it's a little silly. The end is finally here for me. But at least you will carry on my legacy. No. And then Fark blew up everything to smithereens. At least the orbital ring is still safe. We kind of need that, apparently. We did it, buddy. We saved the world. A lot of people died. We lost a lot of our friends. But, hey look, the doctor's still alive. I didn't, I didn't think those guys would be bluffers. You think he's still alive? Yes, I believe so. This is all your fault, you know. Surprise, you're still alive. Oh lord, I didn't mean it. Too late now. I'll make sure to keep a watch on you from now on. Plus, this isn't over. We still got another problem to deal with. Now get moving. Poor Dr. Armstrong. So yeah, big prediction time. The next boss of Spark 3 is going to be Clarity. Spark and Fark are going to team up, kick the crap out of Clarity. It's going to be glorious. Because Spark actually returns in Spark 3. Imagine that. The guy who the game series is named after is going to show up in the next game. Because there's not even a stinger or anything in this game. Spark just straight up does not appear, except in the very opening, those opening illustrations. And a couple of mentions here and there. That's a little weird. It's kind of bold. It's like having a Sosnik game without Sosnik. But yeah, that was Spark 2. The best Sonic game to release in years. And I'm only half joking. That is pretty much what I wanted in a Sonic Adventure 3. This game still has problems, like the parry, stuff with the parry and all that. Being a little bit too overpowered. But other than that, I'd say this is a very, very enjoyable game. Very much a must-play for any, anybody out there who's yearning for Sonic Adventure 3. Or anybody who just straight up wants a good platformer. And that works quite well for that, too. It's a bit on the short side. I uh, beat it in only about a couple hours, like I said I would. Would have gone by a bit faster if I wasn't terrible at everything, but you know how that goes. But yeah, that's Spark 2. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a shorty but a goody. Very much worth your time. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff to do, you, know, you can always uh, play, out, play around with all the time trials and try to unlock everything. I know I haven't in the past, but I mean, you can. And Fark, take a bow, little buddy. I hope you're in the next game. As long as you're not tall looking like that. I hope that's only a power-up. You guys that did that music, you did, you did some pretty good work. This is a pretty good game. It's just a nice, good, 
short platformer, and sometimes... What more do you really need, honestly? Look at that. Look at that cool little art. That's awesome. Gallery, stats, tour mode. All unlocked. Total play time. 3 hours and 13 minutes. Play time in the save, an hour and 48 minutes. Stage time in the save, an hour and 6 minutes. That 3 hours is uh, slightly inaccurate just because uh, the, there was a fresh install on this machine. I had a bit more than that. But yeah, we got stuff like the shop, which I never use a single time, but... You can buy whatever power-up you want. Biker Jester, Plasma Jester, Edgy Jester, and Hammer Jester. Also buy a random art if you want, you don't have to find them all. You can just unlock all the art you want from here. And there's something here called Superpower. Come back here once you have all unlocked all the medals. I still have no idea what that is, and I can't find anything on the internet that shows off what it even is. It's uh, not really documented as far as I know. I guess I could always check again, but... I don't think it is. It's kind of weird. But we also have the gallery. I know we unlocked some art at some point. Yeah, there we go. Just some concept art. Unused stage art. Art of the Kappa. Or the Cop. It's an E. Whatever you prefer to call it. Yeah, there's a lot of concept art. And it all comes on those floppy disks that we find. It's all designed for Neo. But uh, you, as you can see, uh, you don't really... Uh, you don't need to find all the floppy disks. You could just uh, get all the bits and get it that way if you don't feel so inclined to go on a scavenger hunt. Look at that. That is awesome. That black and white one. Really cool looking. A bit of art for Fark. And Romalo. Get a better look at what he looks like. Good stuff. But also there is tour mode. Stage journey. These are basically a bunch of challenges. Stage journey. No stages only, no lives. Beat all stages in a row. Full game, five lives. Beat the whole game with only five lives. Full game, five lives. Beat the whole game with only five lives, but you can't use any powers. The electric jester journey, where you're using the default jester. And finally, gladiator journey. Bosses only, no lives. Beat all the bosses with only one life and health bar. These honestly probably aren't that hard to do, just because uh, how abusable the parry is, if you know what you're doing. So I wouldn't uh, worry about that too much. There's also our stats, total play time, which, once again, inaccurate. 33% completion just from playing for a couple hours, so... Uh, I was about to say maybe this game isn't so hard to 100%, but uh, <laughs> those medals are gonna give you a real run for your money. Especially the speedrun ones, because they really want you to know this game like the back of your hand. This is cool for people that are really interested in getting used to how this game plays and all that. I, however, am not that feller. I'm trying to press the... No. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. But yeah, that's Spark the Electric Jester 2. One of the better uh, Sonic likes out there. And Spark 3 is probably going to be even better. I'm very excited for it when it comes out. I'm pretty sure it's coming out next year. Now I'm going to be playing it on day one. Next year is pretty exciting for a lot of indies. There's stuff like Freedom Planet, Cassette Beasts, Gun Luminous Avenger 2, Gunvolt 3. A lot of great stuff to look forward to. But that's for later. As for right now, well, that's uh, going to be it for streaming for a little bit. I'm going away. For Christmas times. And I won't be back for, for a little while. I'll let you know. But yeah, that was Spark 2. And uh, when we come back, I'm just gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll start finally start Pokemon Diamond like I wanted to. Uh, depending how close we are to the release date of uh, Arceus and Luminous Avenger 3. I still do more side stuff. Or maybe not. I don't think a Pokemon Diamond would take too long to beat. Probably like, maybe like a week and a half, maybe. Uh, we'll get there when we get there. Till then, thank you so much for watching, and I uh, hope you have a good Christmas. Uh, I think I will. 
And I'll see you in the new year. Good night.